had a few uh, comments over my videos and uh, people wanted me uh, to show the uh, CPS of uh, the Motorola, Motorola Radio Series CP200s. I am using the RVN4191 CPS version 5.07 and uh, first what you're going to need is your cable right here a uh, Profolic chipset uh, USB cable you need to plug it in and uh, make sure you have the drivers downloaded this is what the end of the uh, cable looks like right here so what you're going to do is after you plug it in you're going to go ahead on your desktop find your CPS go ahead and open it there it is and that's the CPS then you're going to take your radio whatever one you're going to program turn it on and plug in your cable after you plug in your cable and it's connected to your computer you're going to need to go to read and it should read the radio and there it is, there's my radio with all of the info everything, all my channel positions um, if your radio does not read correctly, if it says the COM port is wrong or something, you need to go to edit and go to preferences and select your COM port sometimes it'll boot without it showing and you'll just have to select it mine's at either COM 3 or 4 4 works usually and I have it set to expert but uh, after it reads your radio you'll have your radio info which will show the range your serial number model number what firmware the radio has when it was last programmed and the code plug and uh, you go down if you want to change the radio settings uh, you can set your password for your code plug, your microphone gang Controls, open squelch with your monitor. You can switch it to silent or to open. Allow radio to radio clone. Your battery alert, your busy LED, and that's it for general settings. Accessories, it's usually just the Vox gang and then a the headset side tone where you can hear yourself in the headset when you talk. Button placement, um, you can set the placement duration and you can program your buttons. I have a uh, short press of the uh, side button one to uh, system scan on or off. The second if you hold the button it'll show you your battery as I can demonstrate. If I press it once there's your scan. If I hold it that's your battery level with the light. And then I have the uh, button 2 short press for monitor where I get my monitor squelch or the monitor and then uh, I have the long press unassigned just so I can uh, put the radio into service mode if I want to and your channel position there's all of your channels right here as you can see I have my channels labeled usually they say PERS and the channel number I have all of these channels set and the orders and then you go over and uh, you can also mess with them here in your conventional personalities that's if you want to add a channel you add a conventional personality if you have the four channel it will only allow you to add four if you have the sixteen you can allow sixteen and when you add it it gives you all your settings has your bandwidth, what scan list you want it, if you want it to auto scan. Uh, emphasis, I really don't know what that is, and your squelch setting. And then companding, and you can set it for receive only. And then you set your receive and transmit of the radio, as you can see here's mine. It's on a business band frequency license. And uh, the transmit, same frequency, your DPL code and what the code is and I have it set for MDC system one so I get the end tone squawk for the uh, radio as I can demonstrate here what the end tone squawk sounds like 
I just added it as a feature just so I can have it just in case I want to need a squawk at the end but other than that uh, how you set those up you go to your MDC systems a max of four MDC systems can be made so I have one for the squawk the post uh, the one is the pre and the post which I have on a channel which is just for fun it's got the long side tone and then it'll pre and post this one is another post but it's for DOS mute it has the DOS mute where instead of you get the squawk you get the DOS mute almost like what the uh, NYPD currently uses as you can hear it just mutes it very well and uh, can save your radio some time when you do that and then the other one is uh, my pre-tone I just have one set I don't know why uh, quick call to systems I don't have uh, anything that can do quick call to only these radios can decode them you can somewhat use them as a fire pager if you want like a minuter uh, I don't I just have it set to whatever the default was when I got the CPS and then DTMF systems I have this one where it's a pre only long duration 25 milliseconds 25 milliseconds and this is all of the um, it's the pound sign there are five of them why do I have that it's so I can give my radio a TPT tone a talk permit tone just for the heck of it to have one and uh, this is what it actually sounds like it actually is pretty pretty close to uh, the other radio with the uh, um, XTS series do on a trunking system it's and you have to do five sometimes you can do four if you do three it won't give you a triple beep it'll only give you a double and that's it it won't sound like it uh, I discovered five sounds the most realistic to uh, three because it kind of does three in a mixture of four but I just did that just I don't know why just to try it and then actually I do like using it makes it more realistic the second system I really don't know why that's in there it's just oh actually it's used for an encode actually right here on this GMRS channel I use as an encode on this radio it'll drop an encode just an end beep so I know when my transmission is done for any other users okay here are my uh, personalities I have a business band channel 464 which is I believe that's the uh, yellow dot this is the brown dot I believe I think that's what it is let me get this CPS bigger there we go okay yeah this is the uh, brown dot with all my info and then I have that earlier dot channel and then I have a police department what I have them set in here is there's there is receive only you set it for receive I do have the transmit in there I haven't removed it yet I'm going to just in case sometimes if the receive only could mess up and a radio could trigger to transmit I don't want that to happen but it is set to transmit but it's lock to receive only and then I have another uh, police department in here there's with their uh, receive only and I have the fire department uh, different counties set to receive only also and then I actually have a ham channel this is a uh, rarely used repeater it's uh, I haven't gotten around to get my ham license yet I'm going to but uh it's an empty CSQ repeater and I just have it in here just set that channel is not usually used and then I have another police department GMRS channel 2 right here uh, a garbage company they're in there a lot of others this uh, company is actually a taxi company but they use the uh, I don't know if it's the Kenwood or something else the uh, voice inversion it's pretty interesting but uh, it also can't even though I have it set for usually I have it set on their squelch it still won't receive it 
doesn't like to uh, give me the uh, end tone, even if I set it for DPL or TPL, it still won't. It still gives me the static burst. And I have... That's just a random business channel. And that's another one. Uh, what you can set to these channels are your systems also right here. You set your signaling system. Whatever you want, your power level, your Vox, timeout timer, reference, frequency, really don't mess with that. Everything else, same with receive. You can do all that good stuff. And then your scan list here. I have it modified just so I don't have these channels holding up my scan. You can set the hold time, everything else. Now also with the CPS, just not by uh, programming the radio, you also can make reports of your radio, like if you're a dealer. I can do a customer handout. There it is. It'll print what all the buttons do, the channel names, all that other stuff. The uh, info, dealer info, what the lights mean, everything else. And uh, what else can it do? Oh, yeah. You also can do uh, the detailed report and the personal out and personalities. You can do those. You can get your CPS info right there. Um, you can open other uh, code plugs what you have you can open older ones I actually have the original radio boot backed up and uh, you can switch them however you want and then you press save button to save and then to write to the radio you just write it and it should say validating radio writing and it should write it to the radio and then uh, to uh, program it to like my secondary radio here if I want the same info I actually you have to press clone if you press right, it won't because it needs to run off the master radio. So you have to press clone. But, uh, that's about it. You can, uh, there's more of it up here. You can do it up here. You know, about C CPS view. I use expert mode. I don't like the basic. The basic's just basic. It's not, not good. File. There you go. See, I have my master CPS here. Let me pull this out of the radio. Or now my uh, first boot. Oh, it's moved. I moved it. I haven't had time to put them back wherever they went. i got to go dig them out. But, uh, right here. That's all uh, the info about the CPS. If you want to learn more, uh, shout me out and, uh, I'll uh, respond to you.